Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with the Saturday vloggy thing number whatever, it'll be in the title. Uh, I hope you've had a great week. It has been a very busy week here despite being 4th of July week and me having Monday off. That never seems to get rid of the crazy busyness of it all, especially at work. Work, y'all. So busy, so stressful, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's see, in the thumbnail, you saw these little guys. Oh look, they're making a smile. These are not my first tomatoes. I've had several others that are about this size. It's not a cherry tomato plant. I don't know why my tomatoes are so tiny. They're delicious, but I don't know why they're so tiny. But, you know, at least I'm getting some tomatoes and I don't even have to share them because the hubby can't really eat them. But uh, yeah, I might make myself a very small tomato sandwich a little bit later on today. I'm just saying. Tomatoes. And yes, I have finally gotten brave enough to pull those crazy caterpillar things straight off the leaf and they fight you. Dude, you can't squ squeeze them too hard when you pull them because they squish and that's gross. But they fight you. It's like, no, I'm not leaving that leaf. And I'm like, yes, you are. Fling. And I fling them out into the driveway, which is probably a cruel and unusual punishment kind of death. But yeah. It, it is kind of, you know, what it is. Ugh. I did have another interesting purchase this week, or just one that came in after I ordered it. It is a bamboo mattress protector, because I do have a brand new mattress. Right now it's sitting on top of my old mattress, and they're two different sizes, so life is weird. Um, but I was kind of creeped out by the picture that they put on the front of this thing. Tell me if you're creeped out by this. Why are they all sleeping in the same bed? I don't understand. Okay, I really just don't understand. Let me take the picture out of here. Maybe you can see it without the glare a little bit better. It's like daddy, mama, little girl, but they're all sleeping in the same bed. Dude, show them in, in their separate appropriate beds. I mean, I'm an old married woman and I like my bed to myself. Okay, we have separate bedrooms and have for many, many years. Our sleeping patterns are different. It works for us. Um, but yeah, why is the kid in bed with you? No. No. I don't get it. It doesn't register with my head that that's like healthy or appropriate in any way. I just, yeah, that just kind of struck me as wrong when I saw that when it came in. Have not put it on the mattress yet. That's to come because something else going on this week. Um, during my 15 minute breaks at work, which is I get a 15 in the morning and 15 in the afternoon, um, I have been trying to clear out my closet. And I have roughly 30 to 40 pounds of clothes sitting on the bed right now to fold, so, sort out, fold up, and put into bags for donation. So that's going on. Yes, I have a lot of clothes. Yes, I, I ran out of hangers. Now me, when I run out of hangers, Instead of just going out and buying more hangers, I'm like, okay, I obviously need to get rid of some stuff. And it's true. There was a lot I needed to get rid of. A lot of it was stuff that I had thrifted that I ended up not wearing or stuff that I purchased that I used to wear and just didn't, you know, didn't wear anymore. Sometimes you just got to clear it out. I still got to sort through shoes and a couple of the drawers that are over there because they have a lot of t-shirts and stuff in them that I just don't wear anymore. So that needs to be done. Watching hoarders. <laughs> will encourage you to do that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hoarders is one of those things I don't have to think about too much when I'm working. Like a lot of times I haven't been watching everybody's crochet channels and stuff because I'm like, oh, these are people that I know and people that I love to interact with. So I want to focus on that. And I haven't had the mental capacity to be able to do both this week or last week. So I just, I put on, they have full episodes of Hoarders on YouTube. I put that on, watch, listen while I'm working. And I'm like, oh my God, I need to clean. I need to clean. And no, my house is not like a hoarder situation, but I don't want it to become that way. Yeah. Just putting that out there. Just wow. Some of the stuff that I have seen. Disturbing. Yes. Anyhow, what's coming up? Uh, well, you will see another magazine. Oh, oh, also this week, 
you saw me eat some really hot stuff, some really hot jelly beans. Mm-hmm. The other part of that hot uh, Happy Meal will be coming up this Wednesday on a hot taste. I'm ready for my face to be burned off again. I'm just saying. Uh, snacks around the world. My Munch Attic box finally came in, so we'll, I haven't even opened it yet. We'll open it up and pull some things out of there and have that. Tea will be coming up on Monday. Sunday, if you're watching this on Saturday the day it came out, well, you are way more, you know, into it than I am as far as keeping up with things on time. But um, Sunday there will be a flip through of crochet exclamation point. So be sure to look out for that. It's for autumn. Yes, their autumn magazine has already come out, but a lot of really cool stuff. I think you'll really like it. I've got, I have that one recorded already. So I know that is ready to go. It's scheduled and everything. But this past week, like I said, wow. Make sure you go back and check for those videos. Hot taste was wild. There were tears. Yeah. I started having a coughing fit just in memory of that thing, okay? Also, there were some good snacks. I retasted something that I had tasted previously, but I kind of did it wrong. So yeah, a little better result this time. I missed tea this past Monday um, on the 4th of July. I just never got around to it and I didn't do a live and I figured, you know what, I'll skip a week. We'll see if anybody notices. Yeah, I noticed because I didn't do it. But there you have it. There will be one this week. Yes. Back to the normal routine of craziness. Speaking of normal routine of craziness, I have not had a ton of time to crochet and that kind of makes me sad. Well, part of it is, part of it, I usually crochet while we're watching TV. But we've been watching Stranger Things and that show I am like laser focused on vroom, to the TV itself. I am not doing anything while I'm doing it. I'm like, you turn off the overhead light and you just watch. So there hasn't been any crocheting going on with that. A little bit of stuff has gotten done though. I finished this last week and I showed y'all, but I'm still kind of enamored with it. I still haven't decided if I'm going to line it yet. I think it's kind of cute. Right now I have the rest of the yarn that came with it in the bag because that was just a handy place to put it. So yeah, I just wanted to touch it and feel it and show y'all again. Uh, I have been working on the temperature blanket, of course. I think y'all saw it to this point last week with that full row down at the bottom, of course, all those dark colors because it has been hot. And after that, when I started the next row, look at how hot everything has been. You see all that repeat? Okay. That has been Lowe's, which is the middle one there, um, in the very low 70s. And then highs over 91. Yeah. It's been hot. I don't like it. I don't like it. I want fall to come. I love fall. I want to be able to curl up with a blanket again and not, you know, die. So, yeah. I love fall. Autumn. Oh, yes. Something else that I'm behind on. Um, <clears throat> the hashtag Yarnivore's Monthly Theme, I will have a video out, for, video out for that shortly for the July one. I know I'm a week late already. Other folks, other of the Yarnivores already have their video up. Check with them. Um, they will get you started on the theme and I'll have my video up in just a little bit. So there is that. Y'all know the other people in the theme. If not, look at my past Yarnivore's Monthly Theme video. Everybody's listed. Those videos are mostly up now so you can get the theme and get started on your project. Okay. Something else I have managed to work on. I haven't weaved in any ends though, which is kind of sad. Why did I do that? I usually do them right away. It must have been pretty late when I finished this up. I've decided to make myself a couple of little face cloths, but I've made them in the moss stitch. Just crochet moss stitch. It really does make a nice solid cloth. This is done out of you know what? I don't know if this is Premier Home Cotton or Premier Just Cotton. I don't remember which because I have a whole bunch of cotton. Um, but I just started making it and then I bordered it in a little half double crochet because it makes a nice, even when it gets wet, it doesn't stretch out too much. It's not scratchy texture, but it's, it's enough texture where you can, you know, it's a little 
face cloth size. That's what I like. I don't like washing my face with the really huge washcloths because I feel like it's like going to flop all over my head and I'm like, flinging water everywhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of uncoordinated sometimes. But this, yeah, and I actually do have another one in the works right here. I'll just lift this up. We'll deal with the stitch loss later because I didn't even put a stitch marker in it. I know, that's so wrong. It's going to be a little bit smaller just because... I don't remember what my starting count was, and I just started crocheting without looking. Because that's the kind of project I do in front of the TV. I'm going to let that fall right there. The bag is down there. And I'm going to stick the hook in this completed one. There. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind, right? It's right at my feet, so it's not completely out of sight. I uh, will have some pictures at the end of my tomato plants, which are in a sad state right now because... I watered them and yesterday, yeah, water from the bottom, and then we had a huge thunderstorm last night, so I'm kind of scared to go out there and take the pictures because they might be kind of falling over. It was a pretty big storm. Um, so yeah, some pictures of my tomatoes <clears throat> and other plants that are out there badly need to like mow and weed eat and stuff because we've had so much rain. Every afternoon we're getting rain now, it seems like. And then the sun comes out and everything goes and grows up further. So yeah. It's probably like that where you are too. If, you, if you're in an area that has a lot of grass and a lot of rain, you know what I'm talking about. You definitely know what I'm talking about. So tell me, what are you looking forward to this week? Me? Well, I'll be training people at work. That's always stressful because you have personalities involved. And you have to be like, look, you should know this. You can't do that. Okay. I gotta bust out all the crayons, draw it out nicely and nice and pretty, and explain it because, you know, that's what you gotta do. But, yes, I'm not training new people, no. I'm training people that have been doing this job for multiple, multiple years. Always fun. Always fun. <laughs> Thanks for coming by and enjoying the Saturday vloggy thing with me. Uh, like I said, more goodness will be coming up. Yarny and otherwise. Snacks, hot taste, tea, and yarn. <laughs> I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.